Welcome back everybody. Today I've been asked to do a couple of designs that I showed photos of on a nail tech site. So we're going to be doing a Christmas bauble nail with acrylic inlay and we're going to be doing the cable knit sweater nail with gel polish. I'm using my standard nail nails acrylic system and I'm using blue sky gel polishes. I'm going to be using clear and crystal glacier. I've got these wonderful glitters from the glitter fairy that she sent me to try a while back with an order. It's stunning. So this is perfect icy blue for the winter. And uh, I'm also using my normal acrylic brush, which is a size 10. I got it from eBay a while back. And to be honest, I've taken good care of it. Right, let's get started. So as I'm disorganized and don't have enough glitter pots, I've actually just used a spare dappen dish. Okay, so this is nail one, this is the bauble nail. And first of all, I'm gonna take my size 10 brush and I'm gonna pick up quite a small bead. I'm gonna pop that down. It's not too dry, not too wet. It really is that kind of perfect workability ratio, which you might need to practice because you don't want it running all over the nail. Then I'm gonna take my size two brush and I'm just gonna flatten down. I'm gonna make sure my brush is wet in the monomer and I'm gonna flatten down that circle because it's formed a natural circle anyway. And I'm gonna flatten that down, keep the edges nice and neat until I get it the thickness and the size that I want. Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna go into the raw glitter and I'm gonna pick that up with my already wet brush and place that down where I want it in the bauble. Now for me, I want my bauble to be bursting with glitter, really, really full, but I don't wanna go over the edges and ruin my shape and you need to remember not to have glitter sticking up at all angles. It needs to kind of be arranged. By all means, add different things in there for dimension, like mylar or angel paper. But for me, I just wanted this because I absolutely love it. Now, if the acrylic starts to dry, you might need to get a really, really wet bead and literally just paint it over really gently and pop some more glitter on. Once you're happy, leave it to rest for a few minutes before you cap it because otherwise it's going to make a big mess. Right, so once that's all set nicely, I'm then going to take another medium bead and pop it on top and just let it rest a sec and then really gently make sure that I have encapsulated all of the glitter. It doesn't matter if it's slightly bulbous. I would just say if it's nice and equal on all edges and across the top, then you know you can file into it and it gives you some play. If it's too thin, you're going to come unstuck on filing because you're going to file into that glitter. So don't be worried about having, uh, you know, extra acrylic on it on top of it because that kind of adds to the whole ball ball effect. And anyway, you're going to file that bulk off to get down to that glitter later on. The main thing here is keeping it neat so you don't lose your shape. So work slowly and don't rush yourself.
and here is the nail filed and as you can see the shape's still intact it's all looking good the glitter is still matte because it's encapsulated and we have not filed into that glitter yet so that's what you kind of want it to look like ready for the next stage now this is the part where I lost the footage I can't believe it I thought my phone was recording it ran out of memory so um, I basically took the crystal glacier and I started building up my main nail I didn't do all of my structure with it because it's not a structure powder anyway but um, I went right over that ball ball and around it because it didn't matter because you're going to file into it so this is what it looks like now uh, which basically looks like a lumpy nail with something in the middle <laughs> once that was set then the work begins because then I start filing in to reveal that crisp beautiful ball ball in the middle the way you've gone over it with your acrylic it means it's right up against those edges so it's going to be nice and neat so if you have uh, a hand file now the work begins if you have an e-file I'm jealous I used to have an e-file I got rid of it ages ago because I just didn't use it that much this was way long ago um, now I wish I'd kept it so um, basically you're going to file to reveal your bauble and neaten up your shape this is some work but once you see that come through it's so rewarding because it's super neat and lovely so just keep filing but don't file in one place all the time you must move your file across the nail so you're filing the whole shape so it all ties in so if you stick in one place you're going to end up with kind of like a lump there and a dent there and a scrape there so keep it nice and neat all together filing across the nail like you would do with a client after acrylic and here she is just shining through obviously it needs some refining and the surface is going to be scratched so it's not going to sparkle but you can always go over with a 180 grit buffing block and then just wipe over with either nail residue wipe off solution or even a little bit of acetone so this is the final shape I'm left with after encapsulating I again lost that footage I don't even know how this happened um, but I've encapsulated now with a thin layer of clear so it's not too bulky still looks nice there's no lumpy bauble it's all nice and neat I'm then going to take my blue sky no wipe top coat which is really kind of gel like and gooey I love it uh, and there's no residue which is even better and I'm going to do a layer of that over the nail over the entire nail and then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds in my LED lamp and here she is looking beautiful and Christmassy already I'm then going to start some detailing work now do not let this video deceive you this was my first time using Royal Gel which is Crystal Nails Royal Gel for detailing and it was my first time using my new brush with Royal Gel and I had loads of attempts at this before I came up with one that I liked because I wasn't going off of an image I was going off of looking at my Christmas tree and um, I was working with something that's new to me so when you're using new products give yourself time give yourself time to practice and time to work with it and I did not record it until I, I recorded every single one and then kind of got rid of the ones I didn't like because it's all about trial and error and learning learning to work that new product learning to use that new tool so don't be worried if you do it first time and you're like I hate this you're working on top of a top coated surface so just wipe it off with gel residue wipe off solution or acetone or um, alcohol and start again and keep starting again until you find what you want
so once I'm happy with the gel design that I've done I'm then going to cure it in my lamp and I didn't I wasn't sure of the cure time actually I was kind of like is it 60 is it 90 I can't remember because I did quite a thick layer I actually did 90 to be on the safe side and it was absolutely fine and there you have it a cute bauble nail it's not super quick but then again if you've got your design down you can always do this on one finger and be working uh, back and forth so go back to that finger go back and do the rest of the set go back to that finger the same as you would if you were cutting in a design with acrylic i hope you enjoyed it guys thanks for watching don't forget to give a thumbs up a like share subscribe and i will see you in the next video which is the cable knit sweater